Not uncommon for us to tell stories about endangered turtles showing up on our beaches, injured or dead. But tonight we have a story about another endangered species that's showing up here. And there's a twist. These turtles are known not to nest here. We're talking about leatherback turtles. Chris Six reporter Devon Taylor has a story. Dr. Donna Shaver with the Padre Island National Seashore is known for her knowledge of sea turtles. So we went to her to find out why are critically endangered leatherback turtles showing up here more than 2,600 miles from their known habitat. The strandings of leatherbacks is, has been documented in low levels in past years. It's not that it's never been seen, but there's so few that wash up and they deteriorate really fast under the sun. Dr. Shaver believes these turtles are showing up here because of factors like too much human interaction. Another reason is leatherback turtles may be searching for food. It, it could be a combination of their prey being more available here, but also our records are for strandings. So what causes them to have interactions with humans and come ashore? Boat strikes. Just recently, three leatherback turtles were found dead with injuries from boat propellers. One of those turtles was a female. That was an adult female that had been tagged in Barbados. Yes, she had nested there and she stranded here. She was going on her long migration for foraging. Dr. Shaver believes the fact that these turtles are showing up here is a sign that their population is growing. So we have hope for the future that their numbers will increase, but leatherbacks are critically endangered. So there's not many of them around to begin with and hence why people just don't get a chance to see them. They're out in the ocean. Devon Taylor, Chris Six News. The leatherback turtles known habitat is the Yucatan Peninsula. They're also found in the Pacific and Indian Ocean. Leatherbacks are also known to dive nearly 4,000 feet.